hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and guys in this video we are going to perform the fourth stage of this configuration SCCM and uh, this is in this video we are going to understand how to install IIS web server role and windows server update service role uh, for SCCM so again just like SQL ADK IIS and uh, WSUS is a basic requirement for the successful deployment of uh, uh SSEM. so in this nothing fancy it is very basic uh let me show you my infra so we'll be using four to five virtual machine as of now i'm using two virtual machine only one is active directory second one is SSEM server where i have deployed sql and uh, adk now i'm going to install two more role one is iis and second one is double source and these are the uh client machine we will be using later on so let me show you my virtual machine here I have an active directory and uh, this is my active directory okay india.com is my domain name and IP address is this and I'm using server 2019 standard evaluation version so active directory domain service DNS I have installed and uh, this is my second server where we are going to install SCCM and uh, you can verify this also so nothing is installed as of now it is showing IIS it is good if it if, if it is installed already I think yes I have installed it for a couple of website creation so let me go to IIS manager and see If anything is there I will uh, remove that all those things so on this nothing I can't see anything let me go to 6.0 and here also I'm not able to see anything okay once again I will verify so this is site website default site nothing okay everything is default so we have to install these two roles I mean, I mean one is already installed so second I we can install like active go to uh manage install role and features from here select server where you want to install and what you have to select iis is already installed okay you can uh, if it is not installed it will show like this so you can select it and uh, it is already installed apart from this what you have to install iis and wsos windows server update service and click next next year you can select this also and uh, give next here and you can check mark so if it is not getting installed here so leave it and just keep now you have to give one path here for uh, uh, package and um, at update storage basically so let me see if i have any any i think i had created one disk additional disk here disk management 10 gb yes this i will use this okay so what you can do you can create one folder here so i'm creating one folder here that path you need to give so i'm giving wsos here okay and open this just copy this and give this path here and give next and you can check mark this if required it will start restart and install so it will take some time so i'm just pausing this video and once it is done we will continue uh, so now this installation has been completed successfully and this is what i just wanted to show you in this video and the further configuration we will see you in the next video so till then bye bye Thanks for watching for this video and subscribe to our channel for more updated videos. So see you in next video guys. Thanks for watching for this video.